Job done. Replace the fan. You know, I saw them a washer the center. He goes, hey, there's no air blowing out. No air blowing out. Because the fan was busted. It wasn't spinning. Student housing. But it's fixed now. I replaced it. Let's get the fuck out of here. Go to the shop. <laughs> Yep. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Back at this dryer here. Placing the fan here. Okay. Well, there's a transmission that we took out of that washer yesterday. We put it on this one here. Hopefully she works. Oh, pull up. Good to go. Let's put it together. Whew. All done. New transmission. Clean it up a bit. Test it. Make sure she works. And I have a washer for sale. Generator's on the other side. I gotta go get it. Cause I brought it to the other side. I brought most of the appliances here yesterday. Cause I'm giving up that locker. Come the tenth. Back in business, boys. You see? Yeah, she works. Finally. Who think that transmission would fit? I would never think so. Yesterday I uploaded a video. Cut the transmission from this. The small 24 inch washer. Apparently they had the freaking same transmissions. Who knew? Tiny one. It works though. Man, I gotta start moving some shit here, man. Hopefully today will be a good day for me. That shit works. Alright, good to know. I was looking for glue. But I figured JB Weld will hold this shit together good. Piece of crap. Let that harden up a bit. I had to, I did find some glue, but I don't know how good this shit is. JB Weld will never come off again. But every time you touch one, another one falls off. Touch one, another one falls off. Like, what the fuck? Summer chip. I still don't know what's making that noise. Can't put too much, so put a bit of JB Weld on it, like this. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hang on, guys. It's stuck. <sighs> Done. Fuck's sakes. And still, the only thing I don't understand is making like a a grinding, scratching noise. Like, I don't fucking know why. I don't even know how this fucking thing's supposed to work. I know this spins. Let it dry. We'll put it back on. We'll try again. I know it should work. She was working until one fell off and jammed up the fucking thing and it got caught right there. Unbelievable. At least it's a nice day out, guys. We'll let this dry overnight, I guess. Oh, my God, tired out. Looks like it's gonna freaking rain soon. That guy didn't get a hold of me. I left him my number. It's a company vehicle and it's an old truck. Me, he doesn't give a shit. The guy was telling him, just give him 200 bucks. Don't don't go through your insurance. Why would you want your insurance to go up? Yeah, that's what I'll do. I said, listen, I'll give you 200 bucks so I can I can bang the dent out of a rubber hammer myself. I said, here's 200 bucks. Take the cash. He probably took the cash and he told his boss someone hit his truck in the parking lot. The no van anyways. Now I know why I hit it. 
it's got the shape of my bumper right here. That's where I hit it. Not there. If I hit it there, I put a fucking hole through it. Right here, I hit. But I understand how it didn't cause damage to my truck. What is that? Oh, that's a bit of rust spot. Right here. Nothing crumbled like a piece of cake. Yeah, she's gonna rain soon. Oh, fucking tired of this shit. I was just, I was just fixing things up here. I got that washer fixed where I had to boil the fan. I sold one of these laundry centers this morning. I was fixing it for him. The f Everything was working, but the fan wasn't spinning, so there was no air coming through, and the, the clothes weren't drying properly. So the fan was cracked. So I took it off one of these wash washers, and I replaced it this morning. Now I just, I JB welded it together, I put it all back together. Took it from this one here. So I took the fan, the broken one off, JB welded and put it all back together. She's good to go. This is JB Weld, let this dry for tomorrow, put that back on and see what happens. Hopefully she'll work this time. I'm gonna tighten this place up this week. We got the water. <coughs> Someone's supposed to come for a fridge, but I doubt it, fucking waste my time. And the stove here. I delete her, she messages me back. I delete her, she messages me back. What the fuck? Are you coming or are you not coming? And the other side, I only got four dryers left. Everything else is pretty much in here. Everything's all in here. Everything's all ready to go. Yeah, four dryers, I can fit in here, no problem. So yeah, it's fucking slow. Two microwaves, I put them together. She's freaking slow day. Uh, much longer when hanging around here and nobody shows up. I didn't put these cards together, these fucking cards. 80 bucks a piece. They're solid steel. I guess five of them. Get rid of them. Got one of the dolly here. And I got another three more back there. Make some freaking space, get rid of them. Let me get this. Is this available? Yes, it's available. And no fucking response. That was two hours ago. I'm fucking real. So I don't want to show you numbers. This is the lady here. Not when you're at seven o'clock. Yeah, come now for the gas stove. And then he says, whatever, touch bases. I don't care, touch bases. What freaking ever. I think it's the same fucking woman. Message me again. Cause I got more than one fridge ad, right? Samantha, let me see. No, the other one was Morocco. Here we go again. Is this, is this fridge available? Here we go. Yes, it's available. Are you interested? And watch, no response. Samantha now. I decided I'm not going to say too much shit. Yeah, come pick it up. Here's the address. No, fuck. Then I seem like I'm desperate. Fuck off. But watch. We'll see if she responds. Over a fucking fridge. I lowered the price of 200 bucks. I'm selling the fridge of 200 bucks to get rid of the shit. And the guy says, uh, is, is this, uh, hang on. Is this your, is this your best price? Yeah, dummy, look at it was. 350, down to 200. What are you trying to do? Low bomb me? Here we go. Can you deliver to Hamilton downtown? And this is what I say. Yes, I have a delivery guy who does my deliveries. 
He can't deliver today. It's extra, you'd have to pay him. How much do we say it is? Oh, Eighty bucks. I can say, oh, too much. Then pick it up yourself. Freaking idiot. Plus e transfer deposit. Six months warranty. See if that gets the asshole. Okay, I will get back to you. Yeah, whatever. Fuck off. I don't give a shit. A time one year warranty, six months warranty. <laughs> Good fuck, said no more. Nothing else to do. Might just show you that. This is a, this is a Kijiji ad. I have a stove for 380 bucks. You guys read the ad. Hi, I'm interested. Please contact me if this is still available. I need delivery to Niagara Falls. Drummond and Road and Murray Road. Please let me know if this is durable. Yeah, fucking hours drive. Then I say this. Yes, I have a delivery guy who does my deliveries. Would be a charge. Can have it delivered it delivered tomorrow morning with e transfer deposit. Rest upon arrival. Delivery charge is one hundred dollars. Now it's an hour drive, guys. It costs you maybe fucking eighty bucks on gas. Let me scroll back. She says, I was hoping to spend no more than four hundred with delivery. It's for a rental unit. Well fucking buy it. Don't be fucking cheap. You get your money back. You fuck it's a business. 400 bucks, so it's 380 for the stove, she wants to pay fucking 20 bucks for fucking delivery an hour away from here. You think my buddy's gonna deliver for 100 fucking 20 dollars an hour away from here? And then I say this. I sell to lots of property owners every day and like my service, because I give one year warranty. Everything, anything happens, I fix it or replace the stove. And I said, oh, and I go, I said, delivery guy does, I can't do, f so I said, okay, I'll do 400 bucks of e-transfer deposit. So I'm starting, to, so I'm gonna pay my guy 100 bucks, well, he's not gonna do it for 100 bucks, at least 150. So I'll take, I'll make two, 250 on the stove. I said, okay, I'll do it. Stupid, I should say, forget it, fuck off. And then she says this. So can you do it for 400 delivery? I said yes. Send a fucking deposit. Then she says this. Okay, where is your store located, by the way? Then I show her a picture of my fucking store. There's my fucking store. Dummy. And no fucking response. Fuck off. See how people drive you fucking nuts? Waste my fucking time? Right, we're gonna pour it down soon. That's where you get fed up. Look at this fucking guy. Cool, thanks. I will let you know. Okay. Do you have a picture of the fridge by any chance? It's on the fucking ad. You just seen it on the fucking ad. There's like five pictures. Pain the fucking ass. Let me get this guy a picture. Samantha, is this used? <coughs> what should I say? Oh my god. I'm gonna say, what do you think? You're on fucking marketplace. Should I? What do you think? You're on marketplace. I don't give a fuck I don't make a sell. Fuck off. I'm fucking fed up with these idiots. Is this, um, is this
not a brand new appliance. It's used, correct? Used, yes, used. So how old? How old is it? The fridge is three months old. Oh, okay. So yeah. you just you bought it and you don't like you said you used. No, so do you I, buy it. And, I, I, and sell I saw, it? No, hang on. I said I sell appliances. I sell fridges, stoves, washers, and dryers. Okay. That's why so someone get, someone bought it and returned it in three months. No, nobody bought it. Oh, you said it's used for three months. It was used for three months, yes. I buy appliances also. Where I got it from, the lady passed away. She's had it for three months. Oh, yeah. so you bought it You bought it from someone used. Yes. She used it in three months. Yes, okay. yes, yes. And then you're saying you provide warranty on it. Yes, six months warranty. Okay, and then you guys come at like six months parts and labor, both? I either fix it or replace it, either the one. Fix it or replace it. Okay, so both parts and labor. Yes, both, yes. Okay. okay. Is this for a rental unit? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or yeah. You, you put the right guy, because I saw lots of property owners every day. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's good. What's your name? They know me so good, I just take a picture, they want it, he tries for me, and gets delivered, and they're happy. They don't have to do nothing. The tenants are happy, he's happy, because he doesn't have to do nothing. Yeah. So, but then there is a fridge there now, so do you guys take that one with you? <laughs> There's a fridge there at the moment. That, that's going to yeah, be extra. Yeah, working. That's extra if you want it removed. So you charge. So you're going to charge me eighty dollars to deliver, and then how much to remove the old one? Where is the fridge? The old fridge. Where's it? In the basement. It's on the second floor. Second floor. It's a duplex. Okay. Is it a big fridge? No, it's the same size. Twenty-four inches. Same size. Yeah. To remove the other fridge, I think you're going to charge another extra twenty dollars. So you're looking at eighty dollars. Bring so this one over there and move, remove your old one, yes. So give me a price, a good price for everything. This fridge, deliver and remove. Deli delivery price. is not free. I don't deliver. I'm a delivery guy. He gets paid for delivery. That's his time, his gas and everything. Yeah, so can you give me a package for how much? I'm already giving you a fridge for $200. These fridges okay. here, I had 10 of them. They were 350 each. I just lowered them to $200 each. Just okay. to move them, yes. You're only getting the fridge for $200, oh, it's well, not even that old. Yeah. And then you want someone okay. to remove it on the second floor. How much more are going to do? The guy's not going to do no less than that. For, for $80 to remove? No, deliver this fridge to you and remove the old one, $80. I mean, $100. Because okay. you have one to get rid of, right? Yeah. Yeah. So total. Hundred dollars, yes. You gotta realize he's gotta drive there. He's gotta work. He's gotta put this fridge up the second floor, take the one back down, and take the other one away for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's no negotiation in the price. No, because I'm I'm getting I'm charging you two hundred dollars for a fridge, and he has to be paid. Mm -hmm. He's not gonna do no less than that. Okay. So what's yeah. the brand of this fridge? It's Crosley. It's a Crosley fridge. Frozen. Yeah, they're good fridges. Yeah. I sold so many. Nobody has no complaints, and you get warranty. It's guaranteed, right? Six months warranty. Yeah. Yeah. Through through you. Through me, yes. I'll okay. give you my card. I can send you my card, and if it's a go ahead, we can have it delivered. What's the name of your company? Tony's Appliances. Okay, Tony's yeah. Appliances. Okay, that's. Yeah. And then you'll come and fix it. Okay. I'll send you my right. card if you want, and if you want to deliver it, I'm not sure if he can do it. I know he's gone to Niagara Falls, and yeah. he should be back soon. He's gonna deliver you to Niagara Falls, so I can ask him to do it today. If not today, I'll probably do it tomorrow morning. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm trying to get a hold of my tenant. Um, uh, that's why I wanted you to call me. So send me your card, and then I'll get back to you. Yeah. Okay. You realize it's a deposit before he puts it on the truck, right? Yeah. So what, what does that mean? Anything. Fifty dollars deposit by each transfer. Just, sure, yeah, just okay. to confirm that you're going to buy it when he gets there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, problem. Right. no problem. Okay, I'll send you my card now. Thanks. Bye. Monkey walking by. Can you call me? Urgent. Can you call me? Urgent. See you know what I mean, guys? She doesn't want to pay. Can you give me a better price? Yeah, what? My buddy's going to deliver fucking free and give you want a hundred bucks for a fridge? Give me a better price. And what's the $80 for? What do you mean it's for? It's delivering a fridge and getting your old one shit out of the second floor out. Freaking 
goddamn people. And she's a fucking rent, a property owner. Too cheap to buy a fucking fridge and pay for delivery. My guy's not gonna eat today or what? We're replacing a heater on a dryer here, basic dryer. This is the heaters are on the back of the dryers. All right, it's faulty right here. See where it snapped? Sometimes you can mend them, but I think I won't mend it. So we'll just change the four screws in the back, pop it out. We'll put another one in and put it all back together, guys. Okay, let's test the heater, make sure she's good. Continuity test. Uh, hang on. Bring this in this way. We'll test this. Move these wires out of the freaking way. That's good. We got continuity there. Let's test the heater. This is a new heater. And we got continuity there. Sorry for the light, guys. It's kind of dark. So it's good to go. Let's hook it all up. Put this thing back together. Someone brought this in because it wasn't working. Never told me what was wrong with it. I sold them one. He brought me this for free. I said, I'll take it for free. Why not? We'll fix it up and sell it. Okay. Let's put it back together. Oh my God. Fuck, guys. I'm in a fucking big mess here. Just sold this unit 800 bucks. And they go, you know what? I'll test it because I don't believe that guy. Nothing works. Holy shit. Keep it down. Oh my God. I'm flipping out here. I fucking. I tried this. It's not that. Is that the door switch in the dryer? Dryer should work. Washer should work separate. It's like fucking brand new. It's getting power. Got my tester. It's getting voltage. I'm getting power here. Everything here is okay. All the fuses, this one here, all the cutoffs, everything is perfect. Dryer is not fucking coming on. So I was just swearing, guys. Oh my god. Washer is not coming on. Even my dryer, my fucking generator has just decided to give up. I can't send it, but everything checks out good. Everything checks out. I don't understand. It's plugged in there. I should at least get the dryer going. The generator runs the dryer. I don't understand what the hell's going on. Shit. Try it again. Let's start the generator up. It's fucking working. Holy shit, what the fuck did I do wrong? Fuck me, I took everything to fucking apart. The guy's waiting for the fucking thing. It's working. Like, what the fuck can I do different? Nothing. Fuck sake, man. All right, dryer works, holy fuck. Jesus Christ, I'm fucking unbelievable. I was going fucking nuts here. Holy shit. I don't know, fucking wrapped up, ready to go. Let's try the washer. Okay, washer. Jesus Christ. I can't fucking even see. Oh my God. Fuck. Alright, let's try spin. Oh my god. I did all this for fucking nothing. Oh my god. Let's spin. And we're spinning. Oh my god. Yeah, man. Oh, the fucking hell. My God. Took this all apart. And this is a bitch to get in, this thing here. That's going to be a fucking bitch to get in. Oh, my God. Shit. I just fucking started ripping it all apart. Going, what the hell is going on? I don't get it. Fuck. You know what it was? Jesus Christ. I got to get this fucking out of here. It was just fucking here. It wasn't cramping the fucking vice grips. The vice grips wasn't cramping right. Oh my god. 
I knew this fucking worked. Fuck me. Oh my god, get it back together. Jesus Christ. Sorry, honey. Chinese food's gonna be a while now. Fuck sakes, man. Oh, I forgot to mention. Look the nice, nice girl at the Tim Horns wrote on my coffee for me. Subscribe to Carmack One, guys. Cheers. Subscribe. Carmack One. All right, back to work here. Okay, holy shit. Oh, I'm friggin' believable. It's going back together. Holy shit. <coughs> Put this panel on. Holy shit. Put it back together. Holy shit. And then wrap it up again. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh my god. My well, nice delivery, guys. Brought me a dryer in return. Sell a dryer and get one back. And what is wrong with it? Guess. I'll tell you right now what's wrong with it. Let's spin the drum. Ready? Here we go. Has no belt. The belt snapped off. See? The pulley broke and the belt snapped off. But cool, look at that. Nice dryer. Holy fuck, it's wrapped up, ready to go for delivery tomorrow. This guy's gonna deliver it tomorrow. Holy shit, man. Fuck, it started panicking there. Fuck, of course it works, for so fuck's sakes. Started panicking. When you sell something for 800 bucks and it's gotta be there, fucking doesn't work. You lose fucking 800 bucks, sucks. What a fucking disaster. <coughs> I'm going home. Enough's enough. Let's put this fucking shit away and go home. That's it. Alright, guys. That's it. It's a short video today, guys. Stay tuned for more videos coming up. Don't forget, hit the like button. Subscribe. Appreciate it, guys. Take care. Cut.